too small. You got the wrong button. No, no, you don't do the bottom one. Oh. You just do the top two. This one's optional. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't work. Doesn't work, right? It's too small. Like, it's like an action scene, like in a in an action movie where they're fighting on an airplane, and then the door opens and everyone's like getting sucked out. Like that's what's happening with your bundle. It's not supposed to. It feel right about it. I think it's wrong. Yeah. Just leave, we'll just leave it open. The other thing I get is uh, some people say I look like a chubby Tony Stark. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> it's like I can still get in the suit, like the Iron Man suit, but it's like it's tough. It's like, Jarvis is grunting. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like fighting. I'll be like. <laughs> and then it look like I'm about to do like a superhero landing. Like, bah! but really, I'm just like, goddamn. How many more of these guys are there? Who's got it? Jarvis, where's the water? Oh man. Iron Man, he's out of shape. He's a little out of shape. Uh, the other thing I get is I look like every wanted poster you've ever seen. <laughs> That? Like, wanted. Grand Theft Auto. Like, uh, yeah, he's guilty. The other thing is, uh, this is only my second time doing stand-up comedy. Yeah, you can tell, right? <laughs> like, if I didn't agree to do this, uh, she would have had to get the homeless guy that hangs out around the corner. <laughs> but... I do, it for, I, I do it for free. <laughs> so you have to pay him like a sandwich or something. <laughs> How about uh, linguists? Do we have any linguists in the crowd? Does anyone speak more than uh, one language? How <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you speak it? Yeah. What about you in the back? What do you speak? German and French. I don't know what either of those are. <laughs> <laughs> that's, more than, that's two more than I speak. I can't even speak English, right? <laughs> Um, I grew up in Corona. Uh, has anyone ever been to Corona? Yeah. yeah. So you know, yeah. growing up in Corona, if you don't have Mexican friends, you don't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I would have spoke Spanish <laughs> with, all the Mex with all my Mexican friends. I just thought I would have picked it up. <laughs> but I, I, I don't. I don't speak Spanish. Um, I did pick up uh, that if you put the word way at the end of every sentence, like, you sound legit. You guys know that? You guys know about this, about Spanish? So like, oh, I'll see, uh, so I like to pretend that I speak Spanish. So I'll see like, my, my gardener, Ramon, and I'll be like, hey, Ramon, que onda, we? And he'll be like, hey, Mr. Rocky. And then he'll say a whole bunch of stuff in Spanish. And I'll be like, I don't know. I don't know any of the rest of what you said. I uh, tricked you. <laughs> All right, let's bring out the next pack. You guys are awesome. <laughs> so I went on uh, summer's over. Right, kids are all going back to school. I was uh, I was on vacation last week with the kids, and um, we went to a hotel in a like water park. And at the uh, one thing I noticed was at the hotel in the water park, they got this new sign. It says, if you've had active diarrhea in the last 14 days, you, you cannot go swimming. And I saw the sign and I was like, I guess I'm not allowed to go swimming anymore. <laughs> you cannot maintain this kind of belly and string together like 14 days of healthy BO. Just... <laughs> not gonna happen. My poor kids, they're, they're like, they got like the days without incident board at, at my house now. They're like, they got up to eight. I'm like, yeah, we're up to eight. We're over halfway there. Ah, dad got drunk and ate a, two burritos again. Like, <laughs> got to start over. Yeah. Um, I think they bumped it up. I think it used to be like seven. Yeah. I was like, that's impossible. Um, okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> so, one of the things you should, should know about me is uh, I'm a, like, I complete spaz. Especially when it comes to my kids. I don't know, for some reason, I just, I just totally spazzed out about them. And uh, I think one of the reasons is, 
they came out looking so white. <laughs> like they are, they're like little blonde hair, blue eyed. I never, I'm like, look at me. Like, I'm not even white. I don't have white kids. Like, like these, my kids look like they like walked out of the Nazi youth. <laughs> like if Hitler saw my kids, he'd be like, Mwah! Now that is what I'm talking about! <laughs> Yeah, I'm told fans about that. Um, ask my, my in-laws. They, we went on a cruise, like a three-day cruise. We took the kids a couple years ago. And it uh, ported in Ensenada. And they were like, all right, we're all going to go. We're all going to get up and out the boat. We're all going to go in Ensenada. And there I was like, what? then we'll just be in Mexico. <laughs> There's no rules in Mexico. You want to take my little white kids into Mexico? I'll never see them again. <laughs> And like these, these poor, these poor Ensenadas, man. Like I'm walking around this, the town, I'm downtown. I got a kid in each arm, like staring at everybody. <laughs> Some poor little guys, like he came up and tried to sell me a bracelet with my name on it. I'm like, get the fuck out! Oh, press, press down! I have a particular set of skills, man. <laughs> my in were like, let's get Robbie back to the boat. I'm like, yeah, let's go. Let's go back to the boat. It's safe on the boat. I'm a total spaz. My kids, um, my kid, I got good, good kids. They're good kids. But they know all the cuss words. And I don't really swear much on stage, but when I go home, my wife has the mouth of a sailor. <laughs> they just, they know all the cuss words. But they're smart. They know, they know not the same. They know what they are, but they know not the same because they know, you know, they don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> and uh, so, um, but we made this rule. There's this one rule. It's an exception when they're allowed to say cuss words. Not to scream, yell them as loud as you can, whatever best ones they could come up with. Does anyone know know this rule, this one exception that you tell your kids? No, no. It's when they're getting, someone's trying to take them. Right? If someone's trying to take them, you tell them, yeah, just cuss, say fuck shit, whatever you want. <laughs> Because then that will get everyone's attention, right? Everyone, if you hear little kids screaming swear words, they'll be like, hey, something, something's up. <laughs> but uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time, but I think it sort of backfired because now like my kids like kind of want to get kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they want to get kidnapped. I think they want to be a part of an attempted kidnapping. <laughs> Just so they can cuss. <laughs> like, um, like, what would they even say? Like, Doggy dick fuck. <laughs> like, I don't know, like what a little, how a little kid would cuss. Um, so uh, the other weird thing about my kids is like they, they're like weird about my belly. <laughs> like if we're standing in line or just hanging out, they like start to like play with it, like, <laughs> like push on it. Do it, you freaking little kids. <laughs> Now they're getting like a fetish, like a belly fetish. Like the other day I heard them, they're like, hey Lily, look at that dad's belly. <laughs> play with it. <laughs> but then I started feeling like jealous. I'm like, what's wrong with my belly? <laughs> this belly's not so big. That's jiggly here. Something you guys might know, not, might not know about me. Um, I, I'm a CEO of a medical group. Yeah, I got like 30 doctors, 120 employees, it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> what I'm leaving out is that I also work for my dad. <laughs> <laughs> so dad, dad's still the big boss. And dad will come in, you know, he's, you know he, he acts like the boss, you know? He comes in and he's like, hey, he starts barking orders and people do what, they, what he says. Just they, he walks in the room and they're just straightened up, you know? and. Uh, but you know, it's hard to work with family. Yeah, have you ever heard that term like familiarity breeds contempt? Yes. Right, so, you know, my dad will come in to my office in front of my people and he'll do just a barking orders, Rob, you gotta do that, you gotta do that. And I'm like, dad, really? Like, I've seen your dick. <laughs> <laughs> like, recently. <laughs> we both know it's gotten kind of weird looking. <laughs> You've gotten older. You don't want me to tell anybody that. Uh, don't think I won't put you in that home. You can't talk to me like that in front of these people. 
Yeah, right, they know that's not true. <laughs> they know I'm like, Show Dad whatever you say! <laughs> you got it! Come on, team, you know what we gotta do? I got a really important call, I gotta go my office. <laughs> Alright, we're good, guys. Alright, you right. Yeah, they know that's more, more the truth. <laughs> The other weird thing about working with uh, clinicians is stuff that they deal with every day that just would gross me out. They just deal with it out every day. It's like it's like it's no big deal. But stuff that I think is mundane just completely grosses them out. It's really it's this really weird phenomenon. Like for instance, uh, my my sister. She's uh, she's a nurse practitioner. She was an RN in the ER for like seven years, she saw all sorts of crazy stuff, gunshot wounds, car accidents, just you name it, she's seen it. And um, and one time, sad story, my, my aunt passed away and at my grandparents' house and my sister was like, you know, they got the body out and it was a mess, you know? And, uh, and she was like, we can't let grandma have to clean this up, we gotta do it. And I'm like, you know what, sis, you're right. I'm, I'm with you, I'm gonna do it. And my brother was there, and he was like, we're, we're behind you. So we did. We cleaned up this, this disgusting mess, and we took it up to the dump, and we got there, my sister's like, oh, God, I'm like, what is that disgusting smell? You know, the smell, and I'm like, I'm not going to sleep for four days <laughs> because of the mess we just cleaned up. But the smell of the dump, that's what, that's what bothers you. <laughs> or my dad, like, my dad, he's a been practice doc for 30 years. Um, he's seen just all sorts of crazy stuff over his career. But the guy cannot pick up dog crap <laughs> without gagging. It's short. I'm like, Dad, you've, you've delivered like hundreds of babies. I've seen two babies get born, and that was two too many. <laughs> but you can't like, you can't even like shovel some dog crap without like throwing up in your mouth. <laughs> Jeez, I just don't get it. All right, what about have we got any uh, interracial couples here tonight? <laughs> <laughs> so that's <about> segue. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so no, 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 no. We got one back here. Where? Okay, someone get them out of here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Scary. I'm just kidding, I'm just I uh, you know, I have a lot of a uh, couple friends that are interracial couples. They got uh, it's it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. Um, I don't think I can marry a black girl though. And it's not what you think. It's not because I don't love black girls. Right? <laughs> I've seen those rap videos. <laughs> I know how they can bounce their butts around. Is that? I don't. I don't think I'd be a good dad to a black son because I think he would just intimidate me. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like out of the womb, he's already cooler. <laughs> he's black. Like by age four, he can dance better than me. <laughs> by like eight, he's kicking my ass at basketball. <laughs> by ten, his dick's already bigger than mine. <laughs> And by 15, he's bigger than me. I, I mean, what am I supposed to do? I'll be like, Jamal. Is that his mom? His mom name. I'll be like, Jamal, listen, I told you, we talked about this already. You can't go hang out with your homies till you clean up your room. Yeah, Dad. Why'd you clean my room? <laughs> Jamal, oh, fine. This is the last time, okay? <laughs> yeah. Later, <babe. laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> All right.